and we're live. So there's that. Mm, put him on the No, he would death just list. he would only agree to I would only agree to play hockey in Russia if I could be like Putin's winger. Just getting wonderful, easy passes. Or if it's the opposite, he's giving me terrible like suicide passes and I'm getting crushed by the other <laughs> by the uh, other team. Dude, but you have to try and pick up Putin. You wouldn't try pass. to re so my, my thinking is no one's gonna play D on Putin, even the goalie. So you would lead the league in assists. You'd set records and you just pass to Putin. Hey, fuck the goalie be getting assists while everyone else lets him score. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had my stats in rigged Russian exhibition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you shoot Putin. Hit me with it. Hit me with it. Yeah, now I got the assist. Back to you, Putin. <laughs> my stats, like six games played, zero goals, 91 assists. <laughs> like, you, you have seen that clip of Putin skating badly and like the goal. Yeah himself out of the way and like no. it, what you can tell is a little bit of actual like panic or he's like i don't think will he think i am insult him if i can <laughs> he like does what you do because I, I, mean, I was a goalie i know how you behave when like you're trying to let a four-year-old score and make them think they did it and that's exactly what that guy did i don't get why putin would do that it just makes you look like a dumbass i've seen putin fall off a horse on the ice oh on the ice i've seen him fall on the ice that's gotta and... be for everyone there and like, I mean, last time I skated, I only fell like twice. Like, and it was like the third time I'd ever been on ice skates. It's like, yeah. How and are you falling? Like, really? It's I like, fall dude, you're sometimes. The, you're I get... the president of Russia. Okay. I wasn't playing hockey, to be fair. I was doing li laps around the, the yeah. rink and I fell. Like it. <laughs> I don't know. Like sometimes you, you like just aggressive or something. You, you not step, good. At it. Step on the puck or something pushes you. Like fall has happened. It's really fun, but it hurts so goddamn much. Like, my <laughs> like, like I just remember my my Lithuanian friend was just like, "Yeah, you should learn to skate. It's so much fun." And I'm, I'm like, "Don't want the figure skates or the hockey skates?" He's like, "Oh, the hockey skates are so much easier, and they're not gay." All right, all right, great, great. Both and, true. Uh, are they yeah. easier? Well, it's easier. Uh, I think it's easier to teach someone who hasn't skated before on those hmm. because of their rounded edges. You can do more of a running motion. Okay. Whereas I think because figure skates blades are flat, it's more similar to like a goalie skate. So you'd have to teach someone that further Why out. Why would they be flat? They do so many spins and stuff on the center. No, I mean uh, the bottom. Right. Me too. Or no, wait, it, it's flat. And then there's like a tiny little hump, right? And then some spikes. There's spikes. I, I'm a toe pick in depth. the front. I want to say the bottoms of them are curved, which would make sense because they need agility as much as hockey players do. The flat ones are the speed skaters, I think. And I know it also has to do with the depth of the groove on the bottom part. Of oh, the, skate. the the is that called concave? The middle? Yeah, they how concave it, it is. I'm sorry that I did this to everyone. <laughs> yeah, now we're going to go through the variables, the pros and cons of all levels of concavity uh. on different kinds of ice. <laughs> Slide one. Uh, the <laughs> Who's your favorite speed skater? Uh, Mine's Anton Apollo Ono. That's the only one I'm, I know. That's oh, the only one. What about the knows. Australian guy that won the gold medal? Are you familiar with him? No, dude. This guy. Australian? Yeah, was he was terrible. And uh, <laughs> like in the like early rounds, everyone in front of him fell, so he advanced to the next round. And then it happened again and again, and it happened three or four times in a row. This guy was going to get last in every race, but in front of him, they kept crashing into each other and falling. And he got it. I think he got a gold medal. He's back there slow and steady. Wins the race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he, like, he's obviously good. He's in the Olympics and he looked really athletic. Sure. But, but, but he's he the wasn't worst as good. of the Olympics. Yes. Yeah. With a gold. Which, uh, never mind. Um, are, there, are, are we going to have an Olympics? This, well, we already talked about that subject. I don't think we will. I don't think there will be an Olympics. Uh, so I, I was just hearing about it. What they're planning now is to have an Olympics this year, and it will be called the 2020 Olympics. Yes. <laughs> I, was, I just found the, the Putin slipping we on the ice watch thing. can ABC yeah, it, is clear. It, I was expecting him to, like, fall embarrassingly. He did that thing that lots of people do where they're, like, waving, and they skate into the carpet that's on the ice. Oh, actually, out. yeah, that's that's totally understandable. Yeah, I. Oh, the, the number number two is like, Mr. President, no! Nah! <laughs> but he doesn't want to put hands on Vladimir Putin, so he just has to let him go. And everybody, as soon as he falls and stands back up, the whole team's applauding. <laughs> it's just, oh, that's so great! You fell down on the carpet and got up by yourself, Mr. P President Putin, Overlord Putin, Master Putin, and hmm. whoever the other team is, they don't even want to look. How do I get to put up against Putin again? 
like, what did you think about uh, Mr. Putin falling on the ice in front of you guys? I saw nothing. I saw nothing of the kind. And frankly, I'm surprised that you would besmirch our great leader in such a way by telling these ridiculous lies here <laughs> As- in front of all of these good people. It's like practice is ending. There's one Russian soldier walking in the rink with a flamethrower. <laughs> punish the ice for tripping Putin. <laughs> and Putin's just sitting up the stands watching. Yes. That will teach this cold water to trip me. Not so hard now. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now who is no longer so hard and cold? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I waste tremendous amounts of money on f- bets and wagers in my own head only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty dope. I like when uh, presidents come out and throw the ball. So, like, but 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 what we don't do is have presidents come out and like strike out all star players. <laughs> like, <laughs> like that would be the equivalent, right? Like like I if see. you had fucking if if Donald Trump goes out and instead of just throwing the first pitch. He fucking he fucking strikes out three <laughs> three batters to begin the game for the for the Yankees and then like retires to the stands to watch the rest of the game. Did Trump, Trump goes out there pitch? and he's just incredible. Just now watch watch this. He was able to strike him out because he actually gets his ass momentum going before <laughs> the arm. That's how he was able to hit 110 miles an hour. You see that? Look at the momentum. We're going to slow it down. Look at the rippling of the fat in the ass area. <laughs> <laughs> did Trump throw any pitches? I don't remember. I, don't I thought think. he did. I thought he did. Oh, maybe he did. I thought wait, who did it? I know George W. Bush. He threw it pretty uh, well. Yeah, there's a graph of who does the worst. I think like 50 Cent is one of the worst. And George W. Bush, after 9-11, I think it was, threw a surprisingly good one. I I might be wrong about this, but I think he might have played college baseball. He was a cheerleader in college. Well, that doesn't add up with my theory then. That's not very much throwing at all. Especially not baseballs. John Doolittle. Yeah, yeah. Interesting that he was a cheerleader. I do remember that now. What is it? What's it called? A first pitch? Oh no, Trump is the first POTUS since Taft not to throw the first pitch. Ah! Ooh, so it's a fat guy thing. It could be a fat guy. I think Trump never wants to be in a situation where he doesn't look good. You know, he avoided all the White House correspondence dinners. He avoided the first pitch. It's just on brand for him to be like, you know what? This is not an error. This is not a game I can win, so I'm not playing. And even if he could, by some miracle <laughs> throw, imagine how fat he would look without those like tapered coat jackets, you know, like th- that can hide a lot. Like what, Chris Christie, he's an absolute disaster, but he looks a million times better in a suit jacket than he does I, standing there in a normal white suit, like dress what shirt. What do you have, Kyle? Bush played baseball at his boarding school in Andover, Massachusetts, Phillips Academy. Okay. Um, and, but and then of course was the head cheerleader. Thank you very much during his senior year. Uh, see, the, the 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 cheerleaders recruited him. See, he was he was a middling baseball player, but when mm-hmm. they saw his enthusiasm on the field and the way he was cheering on his fellow players, they were, we got to get him. We got to get this guy. We got to recruit him over to the squad. We'll make him head cheerleader, and they did. All right then, dude. Good lord, fifty cents is so bad. I can't believe it. He looks. It's athletic. not the worst. No, the well, worst. Well, Baba Booey is the worst. <laughs> he hit someone, right? Like, didn't he hit w- one of them? Hit someone that actually maybe it was Fifty Cent who hit someone with the pitch. But Baba Booey's the worst because he got his chance for redemption on the uh, Jimmy Kimmel show, and that yeah, then he hit someone. Then he hit a woman in the audience. <laughs> yeah, well, was that like, planned? Like, he says it wasn't, and it didn't seem to be because like like it was definitely planned by Jimmy Kimmel. But Jimmy Kimmel is like a longtime fan and like uh, like contributor to the Stern show. So I could see them potentially like playing that joke on him because like Baba Booey is on the Jimmy Kimmel show, I believe, to promote his book. And he's like he he brings up Jimmy Kimmel does the pitch, the famous like worst pitch ever. And he's like, how about a chance at redemption? And he produces like a glove and a ball and everything. And they like pan the camera over and they've got like a little mound for him to pitch from. And Jimmy goes to catch for him. And he like sails one over Jimmy's head and hits a lady in the crowd. That's hilarious. <laughs> there, <laughs> I, it sounds a little planned though. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw fifty. I've just been watching the first. I'm sorry, the top five worst celebrity first pitches ever. Um, 
50 cents, I was obviously terrible. He missed the catcher by like, I don't know, 50 feet, something like that. Like a, a lot. But it's like, oh, you see what happened. He got nervous and he fucked his grip up or something and didn't let it go properly. His release was messed up. I don't think he's ever thrown a baseball. What? Have you seen it recently? Black people don't play baseball in the inner city. They play basketball. They don't, they don't have access to the fields. Damn, he throws it. Well, you might be right about not playing I, baseball. I, but... I, look, his whole wrist thing there is ridiculous. Like his whole like like he's just wrong in this image. I'll watch the whole video. So it's timestamp. Yeah, he almost yeah. hit the guy with the camera. Yeah, he did. Uh oh, yeah, that's that's interesting. What he's doing there, I right? Do you not think it could be just a mistake with his fingers that if he had two chances? The other one would go much better. Maybe he's right-handed. <laughs> <laughs> if you go I back could... in that video a bit, a handful of girls hold onto the ball too long and barely make it to the grass. They just throw it right at the mound. Yeah, yeah because they they also can't can't throw. Like 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 it's because they never play baseball either. Yeah, I, I'm just true. I don't I don't think I don't think Fifty Cent has a lot of. I don't know Fifty Cent's history, but I would imagine that I think he's from New York and seems like a very urban guy and that's not code for anything i think he grew up in the inner city and probably never played fucking baseball a day in his life and that's what happens when you've never played baseball a day in your life and you try to throw from the mound and yeah, you're probably pretty agree. nervous the i wouldn't do it i would look like fun. a fool the kardashians are my favorite one they weren't the worst they gave that to 50 cent but there's four of them lined up. I think three girls and a boy, but they're all terrible. And then there's four catchers lined up. But somewhere, they all throw the at the balls. same time. The balls crisscross. The catchers lose track of it. They start ducking and trying to cover it. For... <laughs> it's pretty good. It's my Have favorite. you seen the blind girl throw? No. Was it pretty Better good? than 50 Cent by far. What kind of cruel joke was that? Inviting a blind girl to throw the first pitch? They should have. They should have given her like a fucking orange or something just to really yuck it up. <laughs> she doesn't even know. Taylor, are you sure your idea to get our minor league baseball team out there is to have a blind woman throw the first pitch? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's look at the, let's look at everyone fired up. Yeah, everybody's gonna be so excited. We take her out there, spin her around, <laughs> then oh, see where she throws it. Just have her throw it at third base <laughs> instead, and then and then everybody claps like she made it. Yeah, I, I I'll make... admit I would be pretty nervous to throw out a first pitch in front of a full stadium. Like like I that would be super. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but but I would be practicing for literally a week, like mm -hmm. leading up to this thing. Yeah. Some presidents and... do that. I don't know about a week, but I I think it might be. I, I, a lot of guys might think, well, I can throw a ball, right? I I can hit. I can throw a ball close enough that a professional catcher will be able to catch it, right? Mm -hmm. But. You know, a lot of people might be surprised to learn that this thing they haven't done in the last 27 years, they're not good at anymore. It's a little different throwing off that mound, too. Is it? I don't think I've ever yeah. thrown oh, off yeah. a mound. Yeah, Is it more helpful? No. <laughs> no, it's harder throwing off a mound. I know. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's harder. And if you don't know, you know, if you don't have a wind-up, like you, you don't know what you're doing, then you can look kind of silly up there if you just... I don't know. You would want to practice and you might want to talk to somebody who had played baseball before or maybe even somebody who pitched before and then you'd want to practice some more because it's immortalized. We're here talking about it and, the, and, and that was years and years ago and we're not the only ones. Like like every sports fan knows about Baba Bowie's fucking embarrassing throw and that guy coached his son's Little League baseball team. Like that's what he did. He was throwing balls all the fucking time. Like, mm, like every jokes. weekend he was throwing balls to kids. <clears throat> just, Another thing about it the comparisons, right? I feel like this. people said Logan Paul sucks at boxing. I didn't think that. I compared Logan Paul to maybe people I boxed with or myself, and I thought he was good. He's better than me, right? Unquestionably much better than me. Um, but most people see Logan Paul and compare him to Mayweather or UFC fighters or other guys that they've seen on their television and say he sucks because they compared him to the other. When I see a guy throw off the mound, I'm not watching all the other dads pitch. Right, I'm not used to seeing ordinary people who haven't thrown in a long time pitch. I'm comparing him to everyone else uh, in the dugout, <laughs> and those so guys like, pitch for a living. Yeah, there's this fluid motion though that you have if you know what you're doing. The velocity's 
not important. And the accuracy isn't important to an extent. To as long good. as the catcher can reach out and grab it. To look but like, like, like you don't have to throw a strike. George Bush threw a strike, if I remember correctly. Like, yeah. and it, um, but if you miss the catcher or if you look silly throwing it or if you don't have a wind up at all, like it, it's, it's pretty embarrassing because like, you are in the fucking Yankee Stadium or wherever the fuck, you know, mm-hmm. like like everyone there is a baseball fan. They just paid money to watch a baseball game. It's it's kind of a no brainer. And you're on TV and everybody watching it on TV is also a sports fan or definitely a baseball fan. So like if you're going to throw one at the Braves Stadium, what kind of lead time do you think you need? If they say we need you next week, you think that's enough time? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I need a week. I need a week. And I'm going to go to like. I'm going to go to a local field and I'm going to get on the mound and I'm going to get somebody to catch for me. I'm going to, you know, throw hundred pitches a day and like, I'll be sharp. I'll be able to throw it with like, look, it's not going to be fast. You do, I'll, you do 700 pitches in seven days and then you go and you throw your arm out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe not a hundred, maybe not a hundred. be injured on the first pitch. Maybe I, not a, not a hundred full speed, but like, just, just like lobbing it in there to like get mm-hmm. the motion down. Like, 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 if I throw a hundred as hard as I can, like, like I'm, I am going to throw my arm out, but you know, just going through the motions to like get the motion down and like have like that be to the catcher. You don't want him to have to move his glove somewhere wild. I don't want him to have to move his feet. As long as he'd have to move his feet, I'm happy. And uh, as long as it, it's not in the dirt or over his head, I'm happy. And, uh, and it's got to get there. It's got to get there with like, a decent amount of a lot. I don't want to lob it in. I want to, I want to fucking, th- I want to, you know, hit you 75 miles standard. an hour. If I want to not embarrass myself. So I never played a throwing sport, right? Not to say not in gym or anything, but I never played like a competitive yeah. throwing sport. And I think if I had a week, you know, I could be in the midfield of other people who do this celebrity first pitch. Yeah. I sure. wouldn't be a standout in either direction. That's you all I need. It yeah. The goal better. is just don't miss. Don't mess with the man that you're throwing at. Other sports should do this. Like, imagine if we had presidents do the first snap. (laughs) (laughs) And it's the first play. Oh, I told you that Bears defense is nasty, Jim. (laughs) I'm very excited to go up against the Lions offensive line today. (laughs) <laughs> <With Bernie Sanders>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, clearly this league needs redistribution it would be the defensive equity. line or defensive <laughs> or, no if he would be oh yeah you're right <laughs> i don't know shit but yeah that, that trump trump's fat enough that he could have died <laughs> i thought you were gonna say that he could have blocked the defensive lineman <laughs> like it, get your ass into it donald only if he happens to get knocked down in a way that is trippable. Like that's, <laughs> that's the only way. At no, like at no point would Trump be like, oh, "Come at me, bitch!" Like, no, he'd get he'd get fucking shit rocked. Everyone would. Can you yes. imagine how scary that would be? I've never played uh, oh. center. I mean, when I played mid, like fucking middle school football, I played on the line some, but yeah, just because we didn't have enough players. I played cornerback too. I was the biggest cornerback in the league. <laughs> and also not very quick. <laughs> not, the quarterbacks very... are supposed to be the guard wide receivers, right? Yeah, yeah I, that's why after a game or two, I, I was removed from that position. I was put into, what was it, tight end or uh, linebacker? I was guarding the snacks. <laughs> I was guarding the snacks. <laughs> I remember I, I was just goofing around. I'm in college, right? So I'm fit, right? Like I'm, I'm I fit. With the orange slices. <laughs> and uh, I lined up against this guy. He was, uh, I think he was actually on the college football team. He must have weighed like 285, <laughs> right? And he's strong. He's, he's, oh, look, he, he didn't have a six pack, but like he was just strong. big and strong and, and just everything about him. And it's like, what? It, what am I even expected to do? If I try a little bit, I could get hurt. It, 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 <laughs> it, it, <laughs> <laughs>